hello beauties it is alicia k back again with another video so today's video is just going to be me showing you guys how i customize and style this 4x4 bob wig so now i'm just showing you the construction of the wig so it has four combs two on the side one in the middle of the crown of the head and one in the back and then some adjustable straps and then just showing you the 4x4 lace this is a 10 inch wig i am going to have to put the rest of the details down in the description box because off the top of my head i can't remember but this wig is from ally grace and if you're interested on in seeing how this turns out keep watching so to go ahead and get started i'm going to be using this bedhead holding spray and i'm going to be spraying that on the front of the frontal and then i am going to use my hot comb to just push that hair back so it's a lot easier for me to go ahead and bleach i said frontal but bleach the closure you guys know what i mean I like to go ahead and flip it inside out. It's just a lot easier for me to maneuver it like that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm gonna be using the BW2, the basic white. I should have got the other one so that it wasn't gonna be dusting all over the place, but I normally will do two to one. So two parts bleach to one part developer. And I'm gonna be honest, this was a really, really hard uh, bleaching session this time because I didn't have my normal developer because for whatever reason i guess there's a tariff going on in japan so they can't send it here i don't know but anyways make sure that you're making it a little bit thick almost like a toothpaste consistency and then you're going to slowly and carefully go ahead and tap that in i didn't say push i said tap because you don't want to over bleach the knots i don't think you could ever over bleach these knots i'm gonna get into that when i do the review but i don't know these knots were just not it i really was struggling with making sure that they bleached the way that i wanted them to so after that i'm just gonna go ahead and place it in some foil just to make the process go a little bit faster which it didn't but normally it does so um yeah this this wig I think it really was just this wig and these knots because I bleached two other wigs this night and I had no problem with using this method so I don't really know what was going on all right now to finish customizing I'm just going to be taking my blunted tweezers which I've had these for a long time but you can get tweezers from wherever um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb all the hair back so I can see what I'm doing a lot easier. Next I'm just going to go ahead and part off some of the hair in the front just to make sure that I don't over pluck. Even if I'm not going to use it as baby hairs, I will still always do this because I am a very aggressive plucker. So this just helps to save me from it looking really bare at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate that off and then go ahead and make sure that that stays in place with a T-pin. And T pin, <laughs> a T pin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start plucking. So, of course, you're not going to pluck in the same place over and over. You see me going from a side to side. I don't know how to explain it. I was going to say side by side method, but I guess that's kind of the thing. But you're going to be going in a side by side motion. There it is. Going in the side by side motion to make sure that you're not plucking in the exact same spot. And you can see how thinned out is already gotten. So there really isn't much that I had to do. But this is the amount of hair that I plucked out. And I also plucked out the part just to make sure that it looked mm, just just snatched. OK, I wanted it to be snatched. To the gods so i'm just going to be brushing that back to make sure that everything is the way that i want it to be and i'm also going to check to make sure that i don't need to pluck in front at all so after a little talk with myself i did decide to go ahead and do some baby hairs so now i'm just going to be parting those baby hairs out and i knew how i wanted it to look so i'm parting it out so that it's even on both sides so i'm not looking you know lopsided and then after that i'm just going ahead and continuing to customize making sure everything looks good and then of course everyone already knows you got to make sure that thing is flat okay it wants we want it to look 
good so if you want your wig to not be looking all wiggy and extra then i would most definitely suggest getting you a hot comb you can get them off of amazon they're actually pretty cheap probably like 20 bucks on amazon or maybe at your beauty supply store but that is it this is the finished result i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time